Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another segment of the MCR. My name is Thirsty. Along with me is the longtime showrunners, Mighty Mac and TJ. Um, today, I want to bring something up that I'm sure is on many people's minds. And this is who is truly uh, making the rules and running the, the system. As many of you know, I am a gunsmith. I'm educated in guns, and I hate to keep bringing this uh, this the subject up, but the problem is there are people making the rules that shouldn't be making the rules. Uh, one 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 thing that comes to mind is the ATF. The ATF is a law enforcement agency. It, they, they have nothing to do with actually putting the rules into place because in order to put a law into law, it has to be voted on by the Senate and the Congress, and it has to be passed by, I think, Mac, what is it, 60% or two-thirds majority? Well, it depends on what rules we're playing by. Uh, sometimes it's supposed to be 60 votes in, in the Senate and a simple majority in the House, and then it gets passed if the president signs it at that point. Yeah, okay. So as of uh, the 1st of June, the ATF has recorded 255,162, uh, the, uh, the pistol braces, okay? That is 0. 0.2 to 0. 0.6. 0. 0.2 to 0. 0.6 of actually what has been sold. And that's... The the because I don't know if any if you guys are aware that the ATF has made the pistol brace illegal. When yeah, when did yeah when when did they decide to become the lawmakers? I I don't understand where uh it, it was another thing is when the bump stocks became illegal. Um I got I got my notes here. 456 out of 520,000 bump stocks were either turned in, registered, or destroyed. That's 0 0.105 of what was done. Do you really think you can try to take away the American people's rights and not get any kind of backlash for this? Because you're not making you're not making the rules. Well, the, the EPA has been doing this for decades uh making their own policies osha does it as well without legislative action all of these all of these uh, agencies are running rogue with the help of the democratic party which of course does not believe in the rule of law but that's 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 what i'm asking is who who is actually make making the rules here because obviously we know our president can't even walk up a flight of steps let alone make a rule um, Nancy Pelosi can't finish a sentence without spitting on her dentures. Who who is actually behind? Who who is the wizard behind the curtain? Yeah, you know, do you, do either one of you guys have have an idea on? Yeah, I, I, I'd say it's called the swamp and the deep state. Well, hey, here here's what I'm thinking is, yeah, it's the swamp and the deep state. You got. You know, the Democrats uh, in the White House, Democrats control the Senate. Uh, and, and since you have Biden as president, you know, he's uh, establishing the uh, uh, department uh, uh, secretaries, you know, secretary, secretary of state, Homeland Security, uh, you know. And and the thing of it is, is that because you because you have a Democrat administration, all right, uh, the, Dem the Democrat administration, and there's a term, it's called tacit approval. And, and, you know, we can go to the IRS. You know, when the IRS was uh, auditing uh, uh, conservative groups, you know, and and real and really sticking it to them. And, and, and I guess at the end of the day, it wasn't necessarily that the White House said, hey, go after these people. It was just that, uh, you know, there was tacit approval so so you know they you know they basically unleash on uh conservative organizations whether it be the irs whether it be the atf whether it be uh the epa you know 
through because of tacit approval, they they do what they do. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll use your famous quote that I've used often over the years. You know, the uh, the Democrats are, are kicking the shit out of us, and the Republicans are content to look the other way. Well, the president can look the other way while these agencies are doing what they're doing, due to uh, going to with along with uh, Terry's or TJ's uh, sorry, I mean, T, TJ's the, tacit the, approval theory. The these uh, these uh, I'm going to call them officials in these different uh, departments. Uh, they have a track record, and and let's just say the White House and or the Senate, the Democrat Senate, they they they're fully familiar with the track record. Thus, put into the position to implement, you know, what they've been advocating for for years, and and therein lies the tacit approval. You know, clearly he approves of what I'm going to do because he approves of what I've already done. You know, this is this this is where. Dur during my research, I came across the uh, the name of uh, BlackRock. Apparently, it is a equity holding firm. Yeah, they 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 hold uh, basically eight point five nine trillion dollars as of the end of last year in Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google. So who? That's you know. Uh, back to my original question. Who really is pulling the strings here? Well, I can't give you names, but BlackRock is a corporation that's driving a company like Anheuser-Busch to do what they do. Anheuser-Busch yes. either pushes the LGBTQ IOU agenda or they don't get any money. Yeah, or, or they're like blacklisted under the threats of because eh. And we're getting into an area I'm less familiar with, but it, you know, it's my understanding that BlackRock, uh, you know, it, all, you know, so many companies have uh, 401ks now, okay? Right. And these 401ks kind of depend on BlackRock. BlackRock uh, mm -hmm. ranks different companies for these 401s to invest in, we'll say, and uh, and so BlackRock will say to, and we'll say Disney, okay, or whoever, or uh, Budweiser. Uh, you do this or we'll blacklist you and, uh, you know, for people, money from 401ks won't go to your company or something, you know, that's the whole thing is don't get me wrong. I, I love a good late night deep dive conspiracy, you know, aliens on the moon type thing. I love that. But this 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 is getting too a little too close to home. You know, this these these things that people are calling conspiracy and QAnon and yada yada, you guys are crazy. They're actually becoming reality. QAnon, let me jump in here. QAnon has been right about almost nothing. Well, I know that, but but you know, people will say, this. Oh, the conspiracy theories, they were all right. Oh, you mean like JFK Jr. was gonna be Trump's running mate in twenty twenty? That we could I'm gonna do a show on that on how often they're wrong. And I, and I think it's a CIA op. There's a conspiracy theory for you. I just want to say, because I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that on my own podcast, because okay. I, I want to deep dive into the, uh, the weird mm -hmm. and insane on my own podcast. But So I think to answer your question the best I can, I don't know if TJ wants to give it a shot after this, we can wrap up, but uh, you, got, you got companies like BlackRock, as you pointed out, and they're, they're not the only ones, but they are the most powerful, I do believe. And they're running the agenda. And they're telling the EPA and the uh, DEA and the ATF what to do. And, you know, they, they control money. And, and money controls politics. You know? You think so I think that, that if you want to connect kind of the dots. Answer. And I, I think you're absolutely correct there, TJ. Mon money controls politics. It's, it's not about what the people needs and wants anymore. It's about money. I mean, last I heard, you know, as, as far as uh, the, the, the amount of money that black, I, I, it, might, it might be billions, uh, if not a trillion. Well, like I said, as, as of 12-31-2022, uh, which was the end of last year, uh, $8.59 trillion. Where that money's going? I have no idea. At the end of the day, we're going to wrap this up. Do you guys have any uh, closing words? Nope.
No. So at the end of the day, you guys be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me.